Hi guys, this is Dr. Blake Bloxham, the Chief Medical Officer of Hair Dow and Antigen. And today we're here to talk about topical trentinoin. So topical trentinoin at 0.025%. Uh, will this boost absorption, support regrowth, and strengthen your stack? Let's find out. Okay, so first and foremost, um, how do we use this treatment? So most patients see the best results by applying a thin layer of the trentinoin 0.025% once daily. They apply it directly to the scalp in the areas affected by thinning. Um, typically, it's advised to apply at night to avoid direct sun exposure um, or layering with other treatments immediately on top. And it's best to apply uh, tretinoin after a shower or when the scalp is fully dry to reduce irritation. Now, um, as typical of most hair loss treatments, uh, the results can take about three to six months of consistent use, so stick with it. So a, a little note here, patients using photosensitizing medications should avoid this formulation and always use sunscreen or protective covering during direct daylight exposure. All right, so why 0.025 tretinoin? Now, tretinoin is a topical retinoid uh, derived from vitamin A, and it's primarily known for its role in skin cell turnover and acne therapy. But emerging evidence shows that it may also support hair regrowth in patients with androgenic alopecia, or classic uh, genetic hair loss. And so it works in several ways. Um, the first way is that it increases epidermal cell turnover, particularly improving scalp health and the follicle environment. Um, the second is that it may enhance the absorption of other topicals uh, like minoxidil, for example, which will improve their effectiveness. And finally, it likely modulates inflammation pathways and keratinocyte behavior in the scalp. Now, a 2019 study by Sharma et al. Uh, found that applying 0.1% topical tretinoin for just five days converted 43% of predicted minoxidil non-responders into responders. And this indicates that tretinoin may play a role in activating follicles that would not otherwise respond to minoxidil. And uh, even back in 1986, Bazano et al found that 0.025% tretinoin combined with 0.5% minoxidil led to visible regrowth in 66% of patients. Now, while this study was small and is a little bit old, um, it suggests that tretinoin may contribute directly to hair follicle stimulation in addition to supporting um, companion treatments. Okay, so what about the safety and side effect profile? So common side effects include uh, mild scalp irritation, redness, flaking, itching, or increased sensitivity to sunlight. Um, these effects are generally mild and temporary, and uh, they often subside uh, as the scalp adjusts over time. Okay, so that said, um, the effects of chronic irritation beyond 52 weeks are not fully known. Um, some studies have shown atypical changes in melanocytes and keratinocytes, as well as increased dermal elastosis in long-term users. Because of this, a regular follow-up with your provider is recommended during extended use. Okay, so a quick note on FDA approval. So while tretinoin is an FDA approved uh, medication for dermatological use, such as uh, in the use of acne or photo aging, um, this 0.025% topical scalp formulation is compounded, meaning it is custom prepared by a licensed pharmacist and is not FDA approved for hair regrowth in this form. However, the active ingredient is well characterized and its use in this context is based upon promising peer-reviewed studies and clinical insights. So if you do give topical tretinoin to try, um, join the community. We'd love to follow your journey. You know, share before and after photos, um, share your experience, ask your questions, tag us on Instagram, on X, on TikTok. Um, join our Discord community to post your updates to ask questions, to connect with others that are going through the same journey. And as always, um, let's do this. Let's get hairy together.